Beneath, I thought this game is kind of up your alley in terms of like the atmosphere and the underwater, because I know you like that kind of thing. And so, yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at the trailer. Um, trailer. I will say out of the three games that we are going to talk about, this is probably the one that I'm most excited about. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I'm not a big first-person shooter guy, but right. this one is pretty unique. So, guys, if you're just listening, um, basically what we're looking at is a, a very third-person shooter-esque. Uh, first-person kind of shooter. Yeah, first person shooter as <laughs> he's the third. <laughs> Sorry. Um I'm I'm, good. I'm, get, I'm getting like some some fear vibes. Do you remember the game Fear? Yeah. yeah I yes. do, yep. So I'm getting some fear vibes. I like the color scale too. I feel like this is right. almost like the same color grade as like the Saw movies. Right. And that's a very appealing color grade for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very got, quick trailer <laughs> very very quick trailer um but yeah are you excited for the game because i'm kind of excited I, for it i think it's pretty cool it's um definitely very unique in terms of like what the gameplay has in store which we're going to get into in just a second but kind of just go into what the game is um like like you saw it's a first person action horror adventure game and you'll play as noah quinn and he is a veteran sea diver who's trying to escape the underwater world. That's kind of what the description said. Um, and there's some pretty cool mechanics to the game that include, it's going to be like a survival as well, where you have to like find ammo, find, and that to be like found like resources and stuff like that. And it's very hard to come by. So you have to like do it carefully. Um, and with that, like, the it's tactical combat is like you can't always go in there like guns to blaze in. You have to play a little slow or or play it like like stealthily. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then the dynamic combat system that includes like adaptive AI and destructive like environment. And I think so. Destructive environment in a game is pretty cool. Like if if everything's exploding and breaking, I think that makes a game better. So, yeah. Adam just loves explosions. <laughs> I do love explosions. But and one more thing, a big uh, component about the game is uh, your sanity. It didn't say how much or, like, what that entails, but essentially, like, it's a mind game, too, in terms of, like, your character has to stay at, I'm guessing, a certain mental state or, like, it causes bad things to happen, which, like I said, they didn't show that too much in the, the gameplay, but they described it in their description and things like that. Yeah, I think one of the one of the biggest things though of why I'm excited about it, um, like like you said, uh, you play as Noah who was lost at sea, uh, mm -hmm. abandoned. But the biggest thing is the setting. I mean, you are you are trapped in an underwater network of like science facilities, and I think this could be the first time. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this could be like one of the very first horror games that we've seen that's kind of has an underwater setting. I mean, I think one other game is, um, it's like that survival game. What is it called? Not Subnautica. Not yeah, Subnautica. That's one, but I think this is like this is the action version of it. You know what I mean? Like where you'll get to fight back and against other enemies and things like that. So, but yeah, yeah, because underwater is already unsettling. It's it's right. like uh, it already gives me like an unsettling kind of feel, and then also like bring in this like shock factor of playing a horror game and it's like this could be really scary it could mm -hmm. it could be like a really really scary and I, i'm I, you, I you know i'm excited for it so one thing i i think it's gonna have a very scary atmosphere i don't know how much this game's gonna have like boo in your face like scary you know what i mean i think it's not gonna have a bunch of like jump scares to it if that makes sense you don't think it's gonna be a jump scare game I don't think so. Just based off of how much action is going to be in the game, I don't think there's going to have the opportunity because you're always going to be like on edge waiting for action anyway. I don't know if there's going to be times where you're like, boo, like here's something scary. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's, I think there's going to be some minor things of like that nature, but overall I think it's going to come down to like the mechanics of like the gameplay, like, like the shooting and that the combat mechanics. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like two games kind of wrapped in one because I feel like this underwater setting is rich with opportunity for jump scares. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like sections of the game that are much more about like traversal and 
and worrying about your sanity and things like that, which is where the jump scares would come into place, like mixed in with with scenarios of like ridiculous action based combat. Yeah, that would make sense, I guess. Especially like you said, like because I don't think you'll be able to fight in the water. So I think maybe that's where things like that, like those monsters that swim in the mon- water, and you have to like swim between like coral and like go fast, yeah. and like as yeah. you're going through like a, a reef, and then all of a sudden, boom! Like here comes a shark and just eats your face or something like that. So yeah, because again, we're talking about a first person shooter, and it's mm-hmm. like, can you? Can you really have those like underwater first person shooter like battles? Like I don't think right. it, well, like f- like what uh, what am I trying to think? What am I trying to say? Um like in real life that doesn't work. Right. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you, know, yeah, like, yeah. you can't shoot a gun underwater. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like yeah. So I feel like in those situations um it might be much more of a different game where you're worried about um maybe it's more of like a you know a run get away kind of thing and I, mm-hmm. I think mixing those two genres together could work really really well because i don't think you'll get bored of either yeah i agree and this is one that i i think looks really cool and you know I me mean, like i like horror games but i don't always like have the patience for them because i like to move fast and like just start shooting things yeah but with this one i think you, like you said you get a combination of both that horror like scariness but also like the action pack that of games that i like and and this is one that i probably will try just for the sole fact i think i will have the opportunity to play fast but also have those moments where it's like okay take your time or you're gonna get like eaten by this monster or take your time or like don't waste all your ammo because you're gonna be dead throughout the rest of the game because you're impatient so i think that's gonna force my hand to be patient but also give me the things i like in games Adam's gonna run out of ammo by like yeah. by like chapter three and just be dead yeah. in the water. <laughs> Five minutes later, I yeah, found six hundred I... rounds of ammo. <laughs> Five minutes later, <laughs> I need more ammo. <laughs> I'm totally out of ammo, guys. Yeah, but yeah, I think this is like like we said, this is the game on the list that I th- I feel like it is a first person shooter, but it's the one that I'm most excited about because they said um, they're it is a first person shooter but it's gonna be a little bit more focused on stealth and strategy not just run in guns blazing so i feel Mm -hmm. like it's not gonna be your basic like call of duty campaign where it's just shoot everything like it's gonna take a little bit more skill and a little little bit more thought um and like you said the ammo is scarce so i feel like it's more it's almost more story driven almost like a resident evil where like a resident evil is a first person shooter but not like a guns blazing first person shooter. Right, I mean, there's right. different aspects to the game. So if I had yeah. to like compare this to something, it feels a lot more like a Resident Evil to me than anything. And I'm super excited for that. I wonder. So one thing with that, I wonder. So do you think it's going to be like open? I don't want to say open world because I think it's going to be on a smaller scale. But do you think it's going to be like open in terms of like? in terms of like you can do this part of the mission first just based off like being able to swim to different like um like environments and um like different bases not bases water stations or do you think it's being going to be very linear like okay you go to this one now you go to this one now you go to this one i actually don't i think i think this game along with every other game on the list that we're going to talk about today is going to be very linear and that if you if you kind of look at like the um releases of small budget studios and like indie Mm -hmm. titles and stuff like that linear seems to be the way it just it just feels like they don't really have the manpower to make like an open world um right you know like like how the the mainstream you know box office titles are they just don't really have the manpower so i feel like it's going to be very linear okay that makes sense i was just kind of curious because i feel like this is a game that could have like an open i don't want to say open world i just think it could have an open concept if that makes sense like where they could like make it like it's like a loose linear like where you can go instead of going through this door you can go to this one but ultimately it leads back to this spot if that makes sense um yeah i mean i feel like they could do something like that if you're talking like strictly open world i i would say you're probably not um but yeah like intertwined paths where and yeah, i talk yeah. about this all the time like dark souls does this all the time where you, you yeah. open some random door and you're like oh i'm back here like it all loops yeah. together and like i i feel like they could definitely do that um but you know what like 
I I don't know who's really with me on this, but I I don't I don't just like a linear title. Oh, you know what I mean? there's no, there's definitely games where I think are better suited for a linear version of a game rather than completely open world. There's so many games nowadays. It's like open world's the way to go, and that's not always the case. I, there's games where I do like the linear story and the linear like map and things like that. Um, one example that I played recently is like Space Marine. Yeah, like that game is just pure chaos, but it, it's it's linear. You just keep going, you keep blowing stuff up, and I think that it works for that type of game where you don't need an open world, and not every game needs to be an open world game. Yeah, I I totally agree. Like not every every not every game needs to be an open world. Like I love me a good linear experience. Mm-hmm. So I think this game specifically with the underwater setting probably works best as a linear experience because yep. having any type of like open world or like even a very loosely based linear kind of world is like underwater is very hard to traverse. You know what I mean? It's going to yeah. be very hard to be like I've already been here before, you know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. the things are always going to be looking the same. So, especially in, like, an underwater scenario or, like, a scenario where you're, like, up in space or something mm-hmm. like that where everything is, like, very disorienting and it's hard to know where exactly you've been. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of just, like, get just me there. Go, just yeah. go forward. Just get, just go forward. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I never, I never played Alien Isolation, but that's another kind of game because that's in outer space. Have you ever played that horror game? Alien Isolation is good, but I, I think it, it is in outer space, but it's, it takes place mostly in the ship. You know what I mean? So oh, okay, it's, so it's like one ship. It's still yeah. is it like linear in the aspect? Like it's not like kind of how I've been saying it's like open concept where you can go different ways, or is it straight linear? I never it's, played it, so it's very it's kind of like how you were talking about about this mm-hmm. loosely linear where there's multiple yeah. paths but they all end up in the same spot. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. So you have okay. a, you have a an objective. And there's a few different ways to get there, but in the end, you're still just continuously moving forward. And I think okay. doing that same type of thing for this game is going to work very, very well. I think the open world concept will get very confusing and very hard to traverse. Um, yeah. So fingers crossed that it is a linear game so that I can make it through it and not look like a noob. Mm-hmm.